Oh, Mr. Mystery, and tell me what we're going to do. Anyway, you'll see, you'll see. You're not going to teach me how to fly an airplane, are you? No. I mean, that's what I would do. Learn to learn. Oh, no, you don't pay all the... Oh, no, oh, no, you are not going to get me to hop in some little airplane off to a romantic little island with you. Never. Oh, yeah. I told you, I am not some twinkie and I meant it. I have values, I have morals, and I have standards, and you're going to... Ava, what I have planned isn't for a little twinkie. <laughs> yes, we're going to be in an airplane, but we'll be back in a couple hours. Then, what are we doing here? Well, you said that you were serious about sharing my life and my interests. Well... I'm interested in this. You and I are going skydiving. Mm -hmm. This is a joke, right? No, it's no joke. You said that you wanted to participate in things that interest me, and skydiving interests me. I can't believe it. What better way to get to know the great outdoors other than jumping right out there into it? The great outdoors are great, but yeah, you know, you're out of your mind. If you think I'm going to jump thousands of feet out of an airplane just to splatter across the county. Oh. So you were just giving me a line last night. We really don't have anything in common outside of the bedroom. Is that what you're saying? I want to share all your interests. I really do. You're going to kill myself to prove it? Skydiving is perfectly safe, Ava. Oh. Well, no instruction. You'll be fine. Oh. Oh, come on. Trust me. You only brought me up here because you knew I wouldn't go through with this stupid thing. No, that's not You tried to trap me. You tried to make a fool of me. I brought you up here because I knew you liked excitement and a good challenge, and skydiving has both. And you couldn't have started out with a slightly less dynamic activity and then worked up to this. Sure. But our pattern seemed to be one where we just jump into things. Relationship, bed, I don't know, skydiving... Seemed appropriate. Not to me. Aren't you the kind of woman that likes to push things to the edge? Meaning what? Meaning when things weren't going the way you wanted them to go between us, you gave me an ultimatum. Well, I don't feel so guilty about giving you one. This is a nightmare. This isn't happening. Are you saying that, uh, you won't do it? Yes, like any sane person would. I really thought you'd rise to the occasion. Oh. Guess you're not the kind of woman I thought you were. Come on. I'll take you. Wait. What? You really are a worm, quite all of you really are. Come on now, let's not stoop to name calling. Let's go. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Sure. But personally, I want you to know I think it's pretty sick that you are making me prove myself by forcing you to hit the ground at 200 miles an hour. But if that's what you want, that's what you're going to get. Oh, this is a good day for a jump. Oh, yeah, if you're a masochist, which it just so happens I am not. Oh, calm down. Come on, let's see if this thing fits. Wait till you get up there and feel that wind rushing up against you. Yeah, when you rush into the hole, I must have in my head. <laughs> You're going to need some courage, Ava, courage. Mr. Alden. Yeah, Joe Mason. I'm the instructor. Ah, Joe, well, we finally get to meet. Huh? I heard a lot about you. Oh, thanks, thanks. So tell me, why don't you teach this lesson yourself? Well, it's kind of like a doctor operating on a member of his own family. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Feel real bad if you lost a patient. That's terrible. <laughs> what is this? Did I ever feel that? Oh, sorry, sorry. You the uh, new recruit? Yeah, this is her. Good raw material here, full of energy, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Ava, this is Joe Mason, your instructor. Joe, this is Ava Rescott. How are you? I've been better. <laughs> uh, she's just a little jittery first time, you know. Mm. Yeah, well, that's normal. Look, Ava, let me put your mind at rest. I assume you must love to fly. You wouldn't be here. Don't assume too much. Don't interrupt him. Uh, so, if you like flying in a plane, I personally guarantee you are going to love flying without all this machinery around you a thousand times better. <laughs> I'm going to get sick. She's kidding. She is kidding. Okay, later in the lesson, we'll get more specific. I'll teach you how to push off on the plane once you reach the out to... The ripcord. I just want to know what the ripcord is. Oh, okay, Cookie. Now, you won't need it. You're going to be on a static line for your first few jumps. You jump? So, no. your chute will just open automatically. Okay, but what if it doesn't? It will. Believe me. But if it doesn't, you have a reserve key. Oh, my God. Okay. 
Now, the chances of both of them feeling are one in a million. Now, I know about those one in a million things. I have an uncle who won the lottery. Ava, 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 will you calm down? You know, you're not going to enjoy this if you stay tense. I think I hear somebody calling me. Ava. How high will I be jumping from? Assuming I do decide to jump. Well, that varies depending on wind conditions, cloud cover. But on a day like today, I would say 15,000 feet. Okay, so after the chute deploys, you're gonna just float down, light and gentle as a feather on a breeze. Well, let me see one of those feathers on the breeze and ever wonder what happened to the bird when it you? Just calm down and pay attention to what you're doing. Living, breathing creatures are supposed to have two feet on the ground. Are you, are you sure you want to go through this? No, I don't. Yes. Yes. How do I feel? I mean, suppose I'm starting to land. I see myself headed for a speeding freight train. Okay, you pull on the right side to go to the right, the left side to go to the left. Very simple. Now, as you approach the ground... Isn't this I'll... a better word? You're not going to hit the ground, Ava. Maybe not, but I'm prepared to spend a long time in a full body cast. All right. As you approach the ground, I want you to relax. Bend your knees. There. Okay, okay. Uh, help me get around. Sure. Uh, Reminds me of a movie I once saw, a war movie. Yeah. There was a torture scene. Okay, take your shoe. Is it packed in there? Right. Who folded it up? I packed it up. Whatever happened to me, he is fully responsible. One broken nail and you are dead. Uh, nothing will happen. Okay? Now, we have one more thing we have to talk about. I know, if you don't arrange me. No, 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 no. What to do when you make contact with the ground? Pray. Well, after that, you'll be ready to jump. What is it? You did real well in training. You're a natural for this. I can't believe I'm going through it. Frank, your pilot, and we're all set to go. All right, Frank, stay. Ava, you can back out if you want. Are you kidding? Would you give me the satisfaction? You're absolutely sure? to make sure I've got everything. Ava, come on. You've got your shoot. You've got all the instruction you're going to need. The only thing you're lacking is a proper attitude. You know, this is supposed to be fun. Well, I never thought of jumping to my death to be a barrel of laughs. You can still back out if you want. What? And perhaps you put up with that I told you so smirk on your face? No way. You want to see me smash out of the pancake? You got it, mister. <laughs> all right, let's go. Hi!
better where it's warmer. Maybe the controls might free up then. Maybe. Okay, open the door. You've got to remember this map. Hey, hey, come on. It could be a lot worse. Remember? We do have to. Teacher, I... <laughs> yeah. 
for his friend. He's... He's dead. Clay, I was so scared. I've been looking for you all for hours. It's just what I thought I wanted to find you. I thought you were dead from the jump. And I was here all alone. Uh, oh. Well, my being alive, I don't think it's going to be much help to you. I, I can't even move, Ava, let alone walk out of here. What are we going to do, Clay? We're in the middle of nowhere. What's going to happen to us? 